After THQ published Yoda's stories on the Game Boy Color in 1999, the publisher and LucasArts announced an agreement that would allow THQ to turn LucasArts licenses into games for Nintendo's handheld system. They published Obi-Wan's Adventures in 2000, while the development was done by Hot Gen. The game retells a story of Star Wars Episode I The Phantom Menace from a certain point of view. Players experience the campaign from the perspective of Obi-Wan Kenobi. It was a port of the then upcoming game Star Wars Obi-Wan, which was planned to be released for PC but was later cancelled. Obi-Wan's Adventures is set in the middle of a conflict in the Galactic Republic. The Trade Federation and the evil Sith Lord are planning to take control of the galaxy. As Obi-Wan Kenobi, the player fights the forces of the Trade Federation, which culminates in a battle against Darth Maul. The game features 9 levels, built up as an isometric action adventure with side-scrolling sections. Obi-Wan is attacked by the Trade Federation's droids, bounty hunters and other evil critters during his travels, and the player is able to control his lightsaber and blaster to defeat them. The player can also take advantage of Obi-Wan's connection to the Force, but this power is limited and eventually runs out and has to be restored. The Force is not only used as a weapon, but also to get through the levels by moving objects that are in the way. Since its release, Obi-Wan's Adventures has received mixed reviews. The game has been criticized for its visuals and controls, but praised for its sound design and creative levels. 